hi guys welcome back to my channel this is dara taylor and the material i'm going to be using is called a duchess material and it's for one yard i got it i got it for one yard so the next thing i'm going to be doing is be measuring out the length i already have my fabric folded into two and this is the back of the top i'm cutting right here so it's 22 inches the length the length is 22 inches so i'm marking out 22 inches all over remember it's this fabric is folded into two i folded it into two so after folding it, I'm going to be measuring out my shoulder length, which is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7 inches. So I'm marking out 7 inches over there. Then I'm going to be coming down by 1 inches for my shoulder slope, which is very important. I came down by 1 inches. Then I also came down again by 7 inches for my armhole area. I came down by 7 inches for my armhole area. Then I'm going to be connecting the lines together. After connecting the lines, I'm going to be marking out my shoulder slope from the line I connected. I, you can see I marked out my shoulder slope, my sorry, my armhole slope. Then for the wideness of the neck, I used 3 and 3 inches. That is the wideness we are working with today, 3 and 3 inches. I came down by 1 and half inches, then I connected the lines together. Then I connected from the shoulder point to the armhole point together. As you guys can see, this is the shoulder slope I was speaking about earlier on. Can you see the shoulder slope? Then under here, I'm going to be marking out my bust, which is nine, nine and a half inches. And also the waist is also the same thing. I'm working with nine and a half inches. The bust is nine and a half inch and the waist is nine and a half inch. So I'm just going to be marking it all around and I also imputed my allowance so I'm just going to be cutting this out I placed my tape at the shoulder point and marked out 20 inches then I'm going to be covering it the back has a curve so that is the curving that I'm going to be doing I placed my tape and then I marked out 20 inch at the end and then I curved it just as you guys can see. I already folded my fabric into two and this is the front that I'm cutting over here and it's 17 inches. The back is longer than the front. The back is 22 inches and the front is 17 inches. So I'm just going ahead to be marking out 17 inches all over the area. I then came down by three and a half inch and three and a half inch is what I'm minusing because of my band. The length of my band is three and a half inch. So I'm minusing three and a half inch from this length of the top. So we are going to be starting our measurement from the area where we marked out three and a half inch. So I already measured out my shoulder length which is seven inch i came down by one inch then i came down by seven inch for my armhole area then i'm also connecting the lines together just as i did for the back of the dress i connected the lines together and then i made my armhole slope as you guys can see i made a slope then i came down to measure my shoulder the wideness of my neck sorry which is also three and three inches and then for the deepness i'm going to be taking four inches for the deepness and then I'm connecting the lines together so I marked out my shoulder slope chalking it down with my chalk I marked it out just to confirm the length you guys can see that the length is giving me 13 and a half so I came down to measure out my bust measurement which is 11 and a half 11 and a half plus the measurement also the waist area is also 11 and a half inches and i'm connecting the lines together and i'm just going to go ahead to cut all this out so this fabric is folded into four and this is my and this is me cutting the sleeve of the top and it's 18 inches i'm working with the original sleeve length is 21 inches but i minus three and three inches is for the band so 21 minus three is 18 inches so that is what i'm doing i'm marking out 
18 inches over here then for my down sleeve band the my round sleeve at the downside is giving me three and a half sorry it's giving me four and a half inches so i'm marking out four and a half inches as you can see and then for the upper sleeve band the round sleeve for the upper part is giving me six inches so i'm going to be connecting the lines together and yes i'm going to be connecting the lines together but before connecting the line i'm marking out my armpit area can you guys see the curve i marked out my armpit area over there then i connected the lines together and i also added my allowance then i'm cutting it out So guys, I'm going to be notching the upper part of this just so that I'll be able to know the middle when I'm attaching the hand. So note guys, I'm going to be notching this. Before then I trim down this area, then I notched out this area. So this is the band I'm working with for the top. This is the band 4.5 inches. That is the band. So this is the back of the dress which the length was 22 inches i'm marking out four and a half inches because the back is going to be having an opening so i use my scissors to open it up four and a half inches for the back you it depends on the size you want it depends on how you want your own deepness to be but i think four and a half inches okay so then i have another material here i have another material here as you guys can see and then i'm going to be placing the back on top of this material and then i'm using my scissors to trace out the shape and then i'm going to be opening it this is going to serve as a cover for it i'm also opening to the length which is four and a half inches and i place this extra material on top of the original material and i'm pinning it down why i'm pinning it down is because these are the areas that i'm going to be sewing with my machine i'm going to be sewing down the area that i pin down so after sewing it this is what it's looking like and i'm just going to shape it i'm going to be um, cutting it to the shape i'm going to be giving it a v-shape cutting just so that it's able to relax because if you don't do it like this if you leave it in a rectangular form it's not going to relax when you turn it up so then the next thing i'm going to be doing is to be notching down the areas a little bit that i sewn i'm going to be notching it the essence of notching is if you want it to relax when you turn it over to the right side you have to notch it if you don't notch it it's not going to relax so after notching it i turned it over as you guys can see can you see how the thing relaxed and then i ironed it and then the next thing i'm doing i'm coming down by half an inch because i'm going to be imputing a band where i'm going to be putting my bottom so i'm imputing a band i'm going to open up that area to the point where i marked half an inch and this is the band i'm working with and i'm marking out the length for two inches i'm using two inches for the length then i folded it as you guys can see and i turned it over this is the way to put it i turned it over from the point of the half an inch then i pinned it down because i'm going to be sewing over that area and then i'm going to be covering it up So this is what it's looking like after I did that. So I'm placing the front on top of it and I'm going to be connecting it through the shoulder areas. I'm going to be sewing the shoulder areas together. The place I'm chalking down are the areas I'm going to be sewing. After sewing it, I turned it and then for this, for the end of the top, for the end of the top, I'm going to be adding I'm going to be sewing over the areas two times for my gathers because I'm going to be drawing it. So it's going to be a gathers. As you guys can see, I already sewed it. I double stitched it. And then the next thing I'm going to be doing is to draw my gathers. So guys, if at this point you have not liked and subscribed, please do support this my channel by liking and subscribing. Also, turning on the notification bell so that when I post another video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you so much. The essence of drawing this gathers the waist, the original waist 
is um 26 inches 26 divided by 2 is 13 inches so i'm going to be drawing this gather to give me 13 and a half inches 13 and a half inches is just for allowance for sewing allowance so i'm going to be drawing it to give me 13 and a half inches as you can see already gave me 13 and a half inches and then i marked out the middle of the top just you guys can see i marked out the middle of the top and then i'm going to be connecting it at the side area i'm going to be shaping it at the side area and for the side area I'm going to be pinning it down. You guys can see I have already sewn it. As you guys can see, I left a little bit of opening. So when you are doing it, your opening can be like one and one inch. One inch is okay, but always leave an opening. Then I folded it as you guys can see, and I'm going to be pinning down the areas I fold because that is the area that I'm going to be sewing. I pin down the areas that I fold, and the area that I folded was the area that I left a little bit out. I did not sew that area, so I'm pinning it down, and I'm going to be sewing over those areas. So after sewing it, this is what it's looking like, guys. Have you seen? The next thing I did, I'm going to be folding it into two the reason and the essence of folding this is because i still want to shape the back i still want to mark out the back remember the back has a curving the end of the back has a curving so i'm going to be curving it out up to the point where i sewn i see you already sorry and then i'm going to be um cutting it out i just want to deepen the curve of the back and then after cutting it out i'm going to be folding those areas you guys can see where I started my folding from. I'm going to be pinning it down. Please take note of where I'm pinning because that is the area that I'm going to be sewing. Also all over the areas of the back. So this is what it's looking like. So I just turned this to the right side guys can you see this is the front and then this is the band for the top i placed it at the middle of the top can you see i placed it at the middle of the top and the other band remember it was two band we cut length was 60 inches then i pinned it down and then i'm going to be following the same process please guys this place this part is important sorry please take note of where i'm pinning because those are the areas that i'm also going to be sewing so the, what i'm just doing is i'm placing the first part of my band and i'm putting it in between my gathered area you guys can see what i'm doing please take notes i know you'll be wondering if you should sew it all to the end of the band yes you should sew it you should sew it all to the end can you see what i did i pinned those areas look can you see the end of the band and i'm going to be sewing it to the end of the band i did the same thing over the left side so it so this is what is looking like after sewing it i already sewed this guys can you see what is looking like right can you see so I'm also going to be sewing the other side also because I need it to be as neat as possible. I'm going to be sewing it. Take note of how I turned this upside down. I turned it upside down making sure the middle part is correlating with each other. Then I pin them down also. If you cannot do it, you just basically fold it the normal way you um, fold it. But if this is for advanced tailors, but if you are able to do it, that's fine. But it's nothing hectic. If you cannot do it, you can just fold it the normal way you fold the hand end of your clothes but if you can do this is actually fine the reason i'm just doing it this way is just so that the clothes will be able to be neat the band area will be neat so if you can't do it like this is fine also it's still going to come out beautiful So this is what it's looking like after sewing it guys can you see then i'm going to be giving the end of the band a little slant just like a belt i gave it a little slant with my chalk and then i cut it out can you guys see this slant that i did over there so the next thing is to be folding it inside i'm going to fold it inside and i'm using my office pin to pin down the areas that i'm going to be sewing 
please take note of where I'm pinning down because those are the areas that I would be sewing. I repeated the same thing guys can you see after sewing and sorry folding it so now we're going to be covering the neck we're going to be doing a finishing for the neck and I have my cutting bias here I used one yard for this and then I placed it over as you guys can see and I'm just following it up using my office pin to pin please again take note of where I am pinning down so that you won't make any mistake after pinning it, I'll be sewing those areas. So this is what it's looking like after sewing it. Then I'm going to cut out the excess of the cutting bias. Then I folded it again. See how I folded it. And I'm also going to be pinning those areas again. Because we're going to be sewing the areas that I'm pinning down. Just guys, please watch this. Watch the way I am pinning it down. So I'm going to be sewing the areas that I pinned down like I said before, sewing it. So now this is the hand that we already cut and I measured out 6 inches, 6 inches for the upper sleeve band. My round sleeve for the up side is 6 inches and for the down side it is 4.5 inches. I connected the lines and then I'm going to be sewing over the lines that I connected. I'm going to be sewing over the areas that's my measurements i'm going to be sewing this is what it's looking like after sewing so i came down by two inches at the bottom side and the reason is because the cloth is going to be having an opening so i already use my razor to tear it up to the two inches and i notched down this area by marking my chalk there then i folded this as you guys can see i folded it up to the length of the two inches that i came down i folded this area and I'm also going to be folding the other areas, the area also. Because this is a corporate hand that I'm sewing, so it's going to have an opening at that side. So remember the 3 inches we minus for the band. This is 8, this is 3, but then the wideness is 10.5 inches. And this is 4, I cut it into 4. 2 for one hand for the facing, 2 for both facings as you guys can see. So you guys can see I'm using 2 for both facing, but it's 3 inches so you are going to be making it 4 inches for sewing allowance also. So this is the band and I'm, I placed it at both sides, the both facing in between the hand and I'm going to be pinning it down. After I pin it down, I'm going to go to my machine to sew it. So this is what it's looking like after sewing. I turned it up and then I faced it to the other side because I'm also going to be um, sewing this area also. I'm going to be sewing this area also. This is what it's looking like guys. Can you see the hand? This is what it's looking like. So I'm done with this. I'm currently done with the hand. I'm going to be attaching it to the blouse that we made. So I'm attaching it at this side and I'm also attaching it at this side. After attaching it, this is what it's looking like. I'm going to be placing two buttons on this area. Two buttons on this area. And also on the neck, I'm going to be placing a button. So thank you guys for watching to this extent. God bless you. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe because I have amazing content for you. Thank you so much.